everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we got another episode of WWE Action Figure Appointment, and I think it's going to be a pretty good day here today. I feel like we've been doing some pretty good surgeries and appointments as of later. It feels like they've just been flowing in, which means good stuff. It means Dr. Whitekiss is earning a paycheck. He's doing some good things in the office, Brad, and that's what we're doing here today. We got some good stuff in here. I got my second Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan in here. I got my boy KO. We got Finn Balor in a suit that I'm going to fix. HBK, a lot of great things going on today, and I think it's going to be a good appointment day. So let's go ahead, shut the hell up, dive into what we got to get into, and just dive straight into the BS. So let's start off with our boy HBK over here. Okay, so HBK, he's got a lot of, uh, he's got some, he got a little something special going on there, man. First off, we do have the basic 100 head sculpt on here. I do like this head sculpt, probably one of the better Shawn Michaels head sculpts. I wish it had like a five o'clock shadow on there. I think there's a variant or like a like a mist print or like a, a running change out there of that figure, but nonetheless, this is his flashback figure, which it doesn't make sense to go with, but I did have these black kick pads on here, but I think I'm going to switch them out with my boy KO over here, okay? So you guys know that a long time ago, I think it was either on uh, a surgery or something, I had the bright ass piece of ish idea to take my MDT Royal Rumble KO from the Fatal 4-Way, the iconic Fatal 4-Way. I took that, and he had a bus it up bloody head sculpt and I changed it out or I, I acetoned off the blood or something. Really wish I wouldn't have done that. I wish I would have kept it as a defining moment, you know, like my Hell's Gate one that I have. But I ended up changing it out and I changed out the kick pads. Well, today, Brad, we're going to put these kick pads, these white kick pads, back onto Shawn Michaels to give him the all-white attire look. And we're also going to be plugging back on the original kick pads that this Kevin Owens wore at the MDT Royal Rumble, which would be the white outsole, black kick pad, with the white Kevin F. and Owens shirt on there that we had custom made for the pick fed. So I'm going to be fixing these guys back up, get them back to their original forms, and I think that will make me very happy. I wish I still had the bloody head sculpt. I don't think I have it. I'll do a search in the bin just to look, you know, in the fodder box just to find out. But uh, I don't think it exists anymore, which is kind of sad. But let's move on, guys. Next up, we have the Ultimate Edition Hollywood Hogan. And we also, I want you guys to take a look at this. Look at this right here. Look at his chesticle. Look at his chesticle. Do you see? See these little marks? There's like seven marks on the set. There's a mark here, 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 and on the lower ab. I don't know what's going on with that. I guess it's just a QC issue or something. Nonetheless, Hulk Hogan's about to get Hulk Hogan right in the face because I'm going to be taking off his boots. Yes, the iconic blue lightning boots, but I'm going to switch them out with these white boots from this Macho Man, and I don't have them right now, and I'm not going to custom paint them right now, but I do want to get the, the, the white version of these. So the white and blue with the lightning and stuff, I want to get these to look like that eventually. But today we're just going to switch the boots so he has the white boots on there. We'll do the rest of the fix-up later on. But you're probably wondering, this guy's going to be bootless, but he's not because I have these, I think these are warrior boots that are like this yellow, pink, and black. I'm going to pop these on here and I think this macho man's going to have a little something special going on there, young man. Once we switch that out, the yellow tie-in, it kind of ties in with the pink on the wrist of the attire. I think it'll be pretty fire. That rhymed. Actually did that on purpose that time. So that is what we're doing with the boots there. And then last but not least, we have my man Finn Balor right here. And honestly, I, 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 you know, I have the Seth Rollins. Remember on surgery, we took the Ultimate Warrior and we made a Finn Balor in suit and a Rollins in suit. Well, I like the Rollins in suit, but Finn Balor in this suited body just bothers me. It just doesn't look correct to me. So we're going to pop it off and pop on this MJF head sculpt to give us an MJF in suit. And then I'm going to plop this scarf on there and bam, we're going to have an MJF promo suit attire, and Wallabushka, that's going to look fandy, dandy, handy, dandy, notebook, and that's what we got going on. So let's shut the hell up and dive into this appointment, shall we? Now for our first order of business, we might be able to conduct a lot of this at the same time, so I'm not going to waste any more time, guys. This may be the first appointment we ever get in under 12 minutes. It might just do it. Let's see if we can actually finesse that here today. What the hell's going on right there? We're going to go ahead and plop the Hogan down right here. You guys know that we got to get the boot boots heated up on this guy. I ruined the illusion. It's an appointment exclusive. You guys already know how that ish works. But at the same time, we also have to heat up the Finn Balor head sculpt. So we're going to put that guy right there. You have the NJF head sculpt who I'm going to heat up anyways just because I don't, you know, it may not go on the peg and I want that to be heated up pretty good. I may have to modify it, but we'll see about that when the time comes. I'm just going to slide him right there. Next up, we have three more or four more sets of boots. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to make it 
man. Don't know if we're going to make it. It's going to be a marathon of switches and swappages, but I don't know. You never know. We've I've, I've, I've shocked myself before, so I think I could possibly do it again. I'm going to go Kevin Owens next. I'm going to put him right here, get him in the beam a little bit. The only thing that's worrisome about this position right now is the backside of these boots right here for Hogan. That's the only thing I'm worried about right now, but slide MJF right back in that. All right, we got the rest of these boots. Jesus, man, how how am I going to swing this one, Brad? Uh, maybe this here, maybe this here here, and then maybe, let's see, gotta be very strategic here, you get, like, it doesn't necessarily have to be heated up on the hole itself, it just has to, you know, get some of that beamage in there to uh, get it to heat up, so I'm gonna go with this position right here, again, I don't know how well this is gonna work, but if we can get this full stack of figures to get the fix-ups going for the appointment, it may be a damn good day, Brad, it may be a damn good day, but I'm gonna put this in position, again, very, like, and you gotta learn the technique of where to put this, because the beam has to be perfect or you will blow it and you won't get everything in one go. And I'm going for the one go, man. We don't go for the two go. We go for the one go. So I'm going to slam a figure here. Ah, let's get it, man. Let's go for gold. God in heaven, that was a... All right, guys, let's go ahead and go for it. I'm going to start off with Shawn Michaels over here. I feel like his may be one of the difficult ones to do. All right, got the one leg. Again, we're going for the Hail Mary pass here, man. We're literally just launching a Hail Mary at the end zone, and maybe we'll get it. Maybe we won't. Oh, damn. I don't think this macho man is going to have a chance in hell. Oh my god, it actually came off. I did not expect that, Brad. Can we get this Finn Balor head sculpt off? We can. Popping the MJF head on here. We may have to modify it again, like I said, which is going to put a wrench in the plans. Maybe not. All right, we'll take a look at that in a minute, but we still have more work to do here, Brad. We got Kevin. We got Kevin popping these over to Sean over here. One leg, two leg. He can go over here. All right, uh, over to Hulk. One boot, two boot. Okay, uh, this is the left foot. I am going to have to remove the tassels, but... Can I get the boot on? I did get the boot on. Holy Christ. All right. Other boot. Ah, oh, Jesus. All right. Got that on. Perfect. Okay. What do I lack? What do I lack? Oh, yeah. Kevin Owens boots and then Macho Man. All right. Here we go. Popping the OG kick pads on here. This is like the speed running of action figures over here with MDT. We're not speed running video games. We're speed running action figures, Brad. So there's that. I know it's not accurate, but you know what? It'll make for a little cool thing. I think we got it, man. I think we actually got that. Only thing we're lacking is a couple little things like MJF's head's on there, but it needs to be a little uh, a little fixed. And then I got to put the, you know, the little things over here. And then, yeah, just, just, just go, go to the end where we showcase everything. All right, guys, so here's everything that we did today on WWE Action Figure Appointment. Man, overall, really feeling what we got going on here. First up, we do have Shawn Michaels in the all-white. I think it turned out great. And now that I'm looking at this, I feel like this is not the legs that came with this guy. These are Hurricane Helms boots with Shawn Michaels' feet. Are you kidding me, Brad? No wonder. Look how short he is. He's shorter than MJF, Kevin Owens. Like, God. Well, there goes that. I was wondering why that was so weird. Well, that makes sense now. Anyways, here's MJF in the suit with the scarf. This looks badass. This worked out really, really well. Like, look at that right there, bro. That is an MJF in suit. I know we'll probably get one from Jazz Wares, and they'll give it to us and stuff, but this is pretty damn sick, bro. Like, oh my god. He's got a little something special going on there, young man. That's pretty damn good right there. I don't think you could beat that. You got the scarf, you got the, you know, the figure, the head skull. That looks damn good. I recommend anybody do that. If you're an AEW, MJF, Jazz Wares fan, man this is the fix up to do right there next up kevin owens he's back to his royal rumble form the only thing he's missing bloody head sculpt gotta find that head sculpt or i'm gonna have to remake it bloody so it fits the defining moments theme because you know we don't wear the same attire twice around here most of the time in the pick fed you don't wear the same attire twice we also have macho man here you know it doesn't fit but i think the yellow and pink kind of tie in together i know it's not accurate but i had to fix up my hulk hogan i think what would make this 
Hogan better though is giving him skin tone hands. So instead of the gloved hands, he would have the uh, you know the regular skin tone hands with the white wrist tape like he wore at SummerSlam, I do believe, versus The Rock, if I'm not mistaken. Might have been WrestleMania, but I'm pretty sure it was SummerSlam 02. But there is the Hollywood Hogan. I'm pretty pleased with the way that came out. Probably gonna have to throw the shirt on there or something. We got plenty of fix-ups we could do with the Hulkster, but that is it for action figure appointment, man. Overall, really good day. I mean, the the, the way these fix-ups turned out, it kind of looks like a damn surgery in here, man. But before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out. Our random shout-out is going to go to Joshua Jules, who says, Don't give the kingdom's keys back, Trey. I'm scared every Monday because of Vince McMahon's booking. And he's referring to our fantasy booking from yesterday, guys. If you missed out on the fantasy booking of Elimination Chamber yesterday's video, go check that out. We go over some cool stuff. And I would love to take over creative booking because it'd be probably a lot better than what we get on a weekly basis. But nonetheless, huge shout out to Joshua Jules for that comment. I really appreciate that, bro. But I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching at the time of recording right now. It's 2.58. I need to go the hell to sleep. But thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and uh, don't cross that line thing. I said don't. You cross the line.